child of God, it's a blessing for me to be with you again this week. Let's hear what God has to say to us at this time. My name is Paula. You're viewing Faith in Five, where your faith is stood and will come alive in these few minutes that I'm with you. I'm here to boost you, give you a booster, and build you up. Look at the script here. It's taken from Book of Romans, chapters 4, reading from verse 1 to 5. What then shall we say that Abraham, our forefather, discovered in this matter? And here's the matter. If in fact Abraham was justified by works, recognized by the things that he does, that's what it means, by, by all his efforts and all his plans and all his strength and what he does, he had something to boast about but not before God. So if Abraham could have been justified by the things that he does and the action that he takes, he would have something to boast about, about himself, but it's not a boast before God. Here's why, verse 3. What does the scripture say? Abraham believed, and you know, believe is something that has to be embedded and rooted from the inside of you, heart, body, soul, mind, and spirit. Abraham believed God, and it was credited from God and by God to him as righteousness. Verse 4. Now, when a man works, and here's an example to give further explanation. When a man works, his wages, which is your salary and your pay on your job, when a man works, his wages are not credited to him as a gift. You are not receiving your salary as a gift, but as an obligation. What does this mean? Well, you have to do this in order to get that. You have to work and sweat and labor hard in order to receive your salary at the end of the week. At the end of the fortnight what point is God making here verse 5 however to a, to the man who does not work try to work out this thing try to work out this your life your whole life try to work out this situation try to work out this problem follow me now however to a man who does not work but trusts God who justifies the wicked who will deal with them accordingly his faith his faith is credited as righteousness. Let's stop right there. Let me give you some explanation. What the scripture is saying here in a nutshell and in general overall is Father Abraham as we know it. His name represents faith. Why? Because it was accredited to him by God that because he believed God, because he stand on belief only many of, many of the times because uh, Father Abraham had some great journeys with God. It was impos like impossible missions. He even had some serious tests by God and they, it seems to be crazy. And we know that Abraham believed God, number one, key, and two, had faith, continued to have faith. And what the scripture is saying is if you weigh on the one hand, believe and having faith alone, because the thing about it is you cannot solve this problem. You cannot. You do If you had all the uh, mechanisms and skills, strategies to, to rule out and rule out your life, then none of us would have a problem. And all of us at least have one problem in life. Are you understanding? Now get ready to take these notes. I'm going to leave you with some high points. So what God is saying to us, we on the one hand, if you trust me and believe me, believe by faith in what I've told you, although you have not seen it rule out or come to pass, and here it is, it will be credited to you from me. I will have to pay you and declare it on top of you as a righteous man and woman as go, of, of God. But if on the other hand, on the one hand, you try to work and sweat everything, everything in your life detailed step for step then what you would have accredited onto you is your own bo boast and your own works and beloved you don't want to go that way because you will be overworked worn out and drained because there are things in your life that you can never ever make happen by yourself or by your own works or by your own sweat and your own labor. Let's go to those points there because I want to bless you with this. You are not going to be justified, number one, in your situation on how hard you work 
or how much you work. You cannot make this happen. Whatever you need to see happen in your life. You cannot make this happen. God can make it happen. Number two, your boast will be in your faith in God who brings all promises to pass. Your boast needs to be. Your boast will be in your faith in God who brings all promises to pass. You see, don't try to take and make it happen alone. No, wait on God. Number three, God will give you the credit of righteousness for having faith and believing him. For having faith and believing him. Those are the two key words. Faith and belief. Faith and belief. You see, what is, what is happening here? Is it just words are in play? No. Your faith and your belief in this situation tells me that you will not wreck yourself to a mess. Your faith will actually cause you to come out of this and step into that. Your belief will actually cause you to come into this and step into that. Number four point. When you try to work things out naturally, the system of the world is paying you as an obligation. Hear this, meaning you have to do it in order to get this reward. Five, when you trust God to do what you cannot do, to work what and where you cannot work, God will credit you himself and bring the results to pass and declare you righteous for believing. Your faith and your belief in every situation, number six, your faith and your belief in every situation will be accredited to you from God as righteousness. Number seven, you will be considered and known as a righteous man or woman because that is what happened. That is what it means by credit, credited or accredited to you. You will be considered and known as a righteous man and or woman for believing and having faith because all will eventually see that what was impossible, what was far-fetched and outreach came to pass after you have stood the test of time and you're grown by faith and by belief. We understand clearly that Abraham and Sarah waited what appeared to be a lifetime for Sarah to get pregnant. She was barren and she couldn't bear. And in their old long age, because of the spoken word of God and his promise, he caused Sarah's belly to swell and bring forth a child out of Abraham's seed. And that is, that is it. You see, they tried many times to work it on their own and it didn't happen. But God, and he will cause you to stand by faith. He will cause you to stand by belief. He will strengthen you and give you the grace and make it happen. Be blessed with this word. Share it with someone. Remember, faith and belief righteousness will be your crown. Amen. Don't try to work things out. Don't try to sweat it. Don't try to make things happen for yourself. You will only wear yourself out. Be blessed, beloved. Until we meet again, I love you.